Previously, we have looked at how timing can be applied to entire queues. In contrast, complex timing, sometimes also called individual timing, is where different times are given to the parameters of fixtures. Make sure nothing is playing back by pressing the OFF hard key twice and selecting the EVERYTHING OFF soft key. Also, clear the programming side by pressing the clear hard key three times. Select Fixture 301 through 306. Bring them up at full. Individual time can be set, just like any other parameter. To set the time that lights come up in, make sure that the encoders are set to dimmer. Press the Time Hard key. Notice that the command line says Fade and that the fixture sheet has changed. Now, press 1 on the numeric keypad and then Enter. By pressing the Time Hard key, we can check what we just did. The dimmer parameter has now a fade time of 1 second. Press the Time Hard key twice to clear fade from the command line. Next, select the Color 1 parameter and pick a color for your lights. Color wheels are by default snap parameters. In other words, they do not obey basic queue timing. You can override this, however, by giving them an individual time. Press the Time Hard key and enter 10 as the fade time without hitting Enter at the end. Instead, hit the Time Hard key again. This allows you to enter an individual delay time. Choose a delay time of 2 and press Enter to confirm. Press the Time Hard key to see the new fade times and press it a second time to see the new delay information. Pressing it a third time results into turning to the normal display. Ranges of fade or delay times can be also changed. Let's use pan and tilt this time. Position your fixtures, give them a fade time of 3 seconds and press delay Press delay a second time and enter 0 through 5 on the numeric keypad. Then press enter. After pressing the time hard key twice, you can see that each fixture is delayed by a second longer than the previous one. Just three keystrokes were used instead of a large number to complete this operation. Before finishing the example, we'll store the actual queue on a new executor. Clear the programming side of the console. Play back the new queue. Queues can be as simple or as complex as you like. For further understanding, feel free to experiment giving different parameters and different groups of fixtures, different times and delays.